All right, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and create a creature again. All right, now what's really cool about this program, it gives you a blank slate, and everything in here is customizable. Um, kids have used these creatures. I've used these creatures a lot in my school. We've used them for creative writing to get them to think about, you know, have a story starter for a fantasy creature. We've tried to match up creatures in books and try to have kids recreate them. We even used it with genetics. We had um, our biotech teacher teach genetics through these creatures. We've had our ESL teacher um, have kids practice words and vocabulary by writing about the creatures they create. So it's a really cool way to trigger learning. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you how to, how to mess around with this. Um, your creature starts off as a torso, and everything is customizable. This um, plate down here that they stand on um, you can click and rotate. These arrows uh, tell you the torso, longer and shorter. And over here you're going to see the vertebrae. When you put your mouse on top of the vertebrae, they turn blue. And then you can click and drag the vertebrae. You can talk about different adaptations this way. Um, and also, anything in here that you use the mouse wheel on, back and forward, makes it bigger and smaller. So if I want this guy to be skinny, I just mouse wheel back. If I want him to be a little bit chubby, mouse wheel up, and it will make it bigger and smaller. You also have some heads here. Now, what you see over here is the difference between the trial version and the real version. Um, the free version, the one that we downloaded, only has these rows of parts. If you buy the full version, you get all these question marks filled in. So you can still do some really good creatures with the ones that, with the parts that you have available to you, um, and it's all free and it's it's fully functional. I'm gonna put this snout on top of them. All right, so we've got a mouth, we've got a head. Again, everything is customizable. Overbite, underbite, bigger, smaller. Again, if I would do the mouse wheel, makes it bigger and smaller. And then anytime you see the circle, it usually rotates. We got some eyes, different types of eyes. Again, all customizable. Your kids can put, you know, do all kinds of things if they're going to talk about different types of creatures, some ears, or something. <laughs> I'm going to give them some arms and legs. I'll give them two arms and maybe four legs. How about that? I'm going to drag and make them a little bit taller. But as you can see, everything is very customizable. Um, you can add things. And one thing I will show you, definitely on the arms and legs, is that you can also uh, customize the joints. So if I want to pull these arms up, make them longer, wider, smaller. If I want this guy to be more of a jumper, I can put that in there. All right, hands, feet, all kinds of different parts. Weapons, which is really, again, cool for talking about adaptations. You know, how do animals protect themselves or how do they hunt? And then some decorative things. Uh, these things are charms, decorations, some of them wings, fins. I'm just going to put some wings on this guy. Why not? All right, and then this is the build mode. This is where you're at right here. In the middle here is the test drive mode. So once you've got a creature going, um, encourage the kids to come in and test them out, see how they walk, see if their limbs work correctly. These are kind of overlapping. I might want to fix those in a second. You've also got some animations here, so you can make them dance. You can make them spin. You can make them do all kinds of things. <laughs> also, your kids will find out how to change the background and how to create little safe babies. Okay. Now, if you do see something, if you're, or you or a kid see something you want to change, you come on back here to build mode. Like, let's say I didn't like those legs. I'm going to take them off. And let's say I want this guy to be more of an upright guy. Also, I can come back and test him out, see if it's got what I want him to have. Legs are still a little floppy, but that's okay. And then you're going to go into paint mode. This is where you can start talking about camouflage, um, how to blend in certain environments. You've got these automatic textures that you, all you do is click. It'll add the texture. Or if you want to further customize it, 
Have your kids come over here. You can change the base coat to whatever they want. You can have, right now it says brown. I can make that, oh, say red. I can make dots if I want. Add details. And then test them out again. All right, so that is really the basics of uh, getting in, starting to get your creature created. And what I'm going to do in the next video, beyond the basics, is I'm going to show you how you can take this creation and you can combine it with other projects. How you can take pictures of it, how you can take videos of it, embed it into different um, projects you've already got, presentations. And I'll show you some more ideas on how you can use this with your kids. So that will be the next video, Beyond the Basics. Mm -hmm.